Hello, 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 friends. Happy, how are you? Yes, how are you? Happy Tuesday. It is February 5th. Thanks for being with us today for Live with Lee and Haley. I'm Haley Harmon. This is Lee Chris. On today's show, we're going to uh, continue our Love Week theme brought to you by our friends at the Joseph Beth Booksellers. Uh, we got uh, Arthur Murray is here in house mm -hmm. to show how what is a great gift idea, by the way, because it's something you do together as a couple, and that is learn the art of dance. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show you how easy it is by giving you an example of a clodhopper learning how to dance. So if he can do it, anybody can do it. That's right. That's right. Beloved, love with Lee and Haley, live with Lee and Haley, employee Jesse is going to learn to dance today. And it really is such a great idea oh, yeah. for a gift. It's, you know, an activity or an experience is always such a great gift idea for any holiday, birthday, anything, but dancing, especially with your sweetie, such a great Valentine's Day idea. That's something a little different. We love our friends over at Arthur Murray, so they're going to teach us today. And then we've got Oscar Diggs, a restaurant in downtown Lexington. If you haven't been to see them yet, you're missing Good. out. We went back and visited them in October, but they're actually here today. They're going to join us in studio. They're the half-off dining deal today. So, so if you've been waiting deal. to try them out, now you're going to get it for 50% right. off. If you're watching no. this show in Louisville, you should dial right now. Not dial. You should get on the uh, website Website and buy one right now. Yeah, yeah, because they're already up for you guys. They go on sale at 1 o'clock and they will be sold out, trust yeah. me. Yeah, lex18.com slash half dining. We had in last week, I forget, they sold out in f like five minutes. Oh, it's Cowboy. Crazy. Cowboy yeah. Brazilian Steakhouse. Done. Gone. We, they sell out so quickly. By the time Lee and I get off set and try to go to our desks we to buy them. one, they're already sold out. It's as if we don't have an in on our own show. <laughs> we don't. Well, you know, we can just bring our phone in or something, I guess, and when it launches, well, try to that's buy true. it. We can do that. We can. We've got, uh, as we said, Love with Lee and Haley Week continues today and uh, uh, sponsored by Joseph Beth Booksellers. Every day of the week, they brought us in fun, different stuff that we can show because they have a lot of great gift ideas for your sweetie this Valentine's Day, too. Today, they brought in a couple of kind of more guy-centric ideas or girls, whatever. But mm -hmm. anyway, like this great picture book, um, talking all about the bourbon industry here in Kentucky. On your side, bourbon coffee. Maker's Mark bourbon flavored gourmet coffee. Are you serious? And then of course the Maker's Mark dipped bourbon glass in the uh, traditional Maker's Mark red wax. Great gift ideas. Yeah, yeah. So go check out Joseph Beth. They have a huge section. We were just in there I think last week of Valentine's Day ideas. They've got candy, they've got gifts for girls. And you always say, you love how they do so much for guys. They they, this is just like two guys. things out of their huge section for guys. Also on the show today, uh, we'll go revisit uh, the community of Tres Leches. And we'll yes, find out what's happening in that sin-filled environment. It's the soap opera that we've put together for you. Um, thanks for all the love we've gotten on Facebook for you. You guys seem to be enjoying it. We had so much fun shooting our little soap opera. And it's been <laughs> just a blast and turned yeah. out so it good. It was actually a dangerous shoot for me. I did a lot of stunt work. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, I, I kind of did. did. I almost you? lost an eye. Okay, I, you didn't I, almost lose an eye. I, I was put in environments which were very uncomfortable yeah. several times. Yeah, confession. No. Oh, no. Yeah. So, well, anyway, you'll see all that a little yeah, bit Yeah, so that's fun. So how are you today? I'm What's great. What's going on? Uh, I'm fine. Got any juicy goss? No, you? Uh, I had a bit of a rough start this morning. Um, I'm pride myself on being very good with my schedule, like remembering stuff that I, I do. I'm like a, an obsessive calendar keeper. I wear out the reminders app in my iPhone. If you guys don't use that, then I don't know how you keep your life together. So what happened? You forgot to put on pants. Uh, a buddy of mine much. did that the other day. I don't want to say his name, Chris Lee, oh, who right. put had forgot to put his pants on. What? He had on long johns and was walking out the house. He got shoes, everything. God bless him. He's old. Well, I was laying there this morning still sleeping and then someone rings the doorbell and I'm like I assume it's like Amazon or something I don't know just delivering an order and my dog starts freaking out and I'm like oh it's got to be Amazon great rings the doorbell again and I'm like who in the heck is ringing my doorbell right now at 7 a.m. yeah so <laughs> I lean over to look at my phone of a missed call I forgot a repairman was coming to my house this morning uh, so to you... work on a uh, linky, uh, leaky shower I have upstairs oh. I looked so bad. I have to, I jump up, put on my bathrobe, run out there, open the door. I mean, my hair, I, I, I looked so bad. And I thought, please, God, don't let this repairman know who I am. Please. Or that's not what you thought. You said, please don't let this repairman be hot. Right. Because I was like, you know. That's what just, you were thinking. It was. Well, I opened the door. And, <laughs> I and he was, was like, hot. 
He was so hot. No, I was like, <laughs> hi, I, for, uh, I, was, I totally forgot this was today. I mean, I'm a mess. I mean, my dog is barking. Then I forgot that I have to turn off my house alarm. So I opened the door. Yeah. And my alarm starts beeping. Utter so chaos. then I'm like running through the house. Then he's trying to fix it. Then I'm trying to make my cough. It was just a ho horrible way to wake up. So then I he fixed the problem in like two seconds flat. Great guy. Um, uh, but so then like after he left, I literally just sat on my couch with my cup of coffee, like talking to my dog. Like, you know, when you just get woken up and you're your not dog. ready for it. I yeah. just was like. So, uh, but the shower's fixed, the shower's and he was fixed. so nice. Well, then, of and course. And now you're dating the repair guy. Now we're together. We're together good. in plumbing bliss. No, I, um, so then we're there, and I'm thinking, oh, good, he probably isn't. I looked like a mess, so I'm like, he's not going to recognize me, hopefully. And he goes, so how's the news business treating you? I was like, uh, yeah, oh, I said, oh, pretty bad. Well, it's, he's, he knows your name. I know, but I was thinking, good and he Lord. goes, and then he was talking about he, he did some repair work for Victor Puente from 27, which, you know, Victor yeah. used to work here. We love Victor. Um, and so I was like. Oh, gosh. I said, well, I I'm sure Victor looks better than I do right now, so that's great. But anyway, that's what happened to me. It was a good start to my day. Yeah. Can we you do hot... Any... No. You don't have anything? I don't, I, no. You don't have anything to bring to the table? No. Can we do hot topics Let's now? Let's go. All right. Roll the hot topics. There we go. Hot Fire. topics. A photo featuring Kentucky coach uh, Calipari was used to help illustrate an OregonLive.com article called Basketball Bribes, How Adidas Bankrolled <gasps> a Black Market for Top Teenage Talent. What? He wasn't involved in this? Article published online Sunday looks at the role of longtime basketball insider T.J. Gaznova in alleged college basketball corruption. The thing is, Calipari's daughter, Megan, defended her father tweeting, so you're telling me this is the only picture available of him? Oh, Referencing yeah. Gasnola? Calipari is never mentioned in the article. Other media outlets picked up the picture, including ESPN's Jay Billis. After tweets from Megan and other responses, Billis defended himself, said, read the article, the Oregonian isn't out to get you. Megan's older sister started tweeting in defense of her dad and tweeted they did read the article and would love to have them start putting random people as the cover photos for all articles, you morons. Even offer their own headshots. Yeah, this is stupid. Yeah. I mean, Even because, if this listen, is the only photo uh, you have of the guy, the crop point, Cal out. The point the girls are making, and they're right about this, and I love Jay Billis, but you're dead wrong, Hoss, is that people who are not indoctrinated into the basketball culture don't know anything other than they know Coach Cal. He's famous. So they see him and they automatically assume that's what the article is about, even though he's a Nike guy. He yeah. had nothing to do with this. Well, so, again, it, it's misleading, to say the least. It is. And well, it's a troll, if you ask me. It is, because if you guys are like me, I have to force myself a lot of times to click on articles that are on my Twitter feed because a lot of us, I feel like a lot of us just read headlines and form an opinion based off the headlines. So if you see this and you don't know that much about it, it is a troll. Yeah. It is tricking you into thinking this. I mean, we've all been guilty of it, and lots of recent stories, people have formed an opinion about stuff before they read the full article, before they well, see the again, full thing. I, I, I use it all the time. There's something called cropping. Crop the photo. Get Cal out in That's your central I figure. Yeah, do, do that. It. Crop him out. Trolling. By the way, speaking of trolling, there's a naked troll that farts glitter at Universal Studios. Oh, what? Yep, look at this. <gasps> troll Guy Diamond from the Trolls movie walks around Universal Studios down in Orlando, which I was just there. I never saw this guy. He's butt naked and he farts glitter. <gasps> uh, social the media. No! Social media has blown up. One person commented on how sculpted the troll's butt is. <laughs> Others were disgusted and decided not to take their kids to Universal because of that. <laughs> Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh, why is he naked? And then why did they think this was a good idea? Maybe if it was an adults only theme park. That's what, that, it doesn't bother me. That, I'm afraid, I've got pink eye just me, from watching uh, it. I'm telling you right now, my nephews would get a kick out of that. Why yeah. don't we see, wait, wait a minute, did we just show that backwards? Yeah. Why, we why, did? Yes. <laughs> Why did we, why are we doing it backwards? I love we, it backwards. We, we went from flatulence to hey. a colonoscopy. What is that? Okay. Hey, you got to drop whiz. those last three pounds before the Oscars. Yeah. What else are you going to do? Get a colonic. That's yeah. what they do. All right, those are <laughs> today's hot topics. You guys got a vacuum seal. That was ridiculous. Okay, ditch <laughs> the flowers and candy hearts. Give your partner something different for Valentine's Day this year. Yeah, we're talking the gift of dance. We're going to be shaking up right here as we continue Love with Lee and Haley. We'll be right back.